My name is Bobby Kalavali. Welcome to Playing On Air. It's Great American Short Plays with Great American Actors. And for the first time tonight, Playing On Air is recording in front of an audience at Brick House here in downtown Brooklyn. Yeah. Hi, I'm Claudia Catania, the host and producer of Playing On Air, the ultimate source for Great American Short Plays with Great American Actors. On the radio and online, we bring you theater's finest actors recording masterful playwrights. Think of a short play like a short story. It delivers a beginning, middle, and knockout punch in 10, 20 minutes. Pulitzer Prize winning playwrights, as well as emerging playwrights, write short plays. We record them. And after each recording, I talk to the playwright, the director, and the cast, about what just went down. You know, you know going in, it's a short play, and you're kind of wondering where it's going to go, and it's unpredictable. And I think like all the little doors that are opened in the play make it for a fun experience. Doing my own one-man shows is, is being up there alone. It's, it's a weird kind of lonely environment. This is so much better. It's so much better to have stuff to bounce off people and have them to share. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a much more groovy thing. Is Connie up there? Yeah, Cliff, she's here. Well, throw down the key, man. Yeah, the thing is, Cliff, Connie has a curfew. You a father? No, I'm not a father, Cliff. Why do you keep saying my name, man? <laughs> when I was growing up, there were plays on the radio all the time, and it seemed so natural. Well, it's still natural, even though it's not as as prevalent as it used to be. It's a wonderful way to to hear a play. I have only six minutes to live! Tops. Tops! There's die. not enough venues for short plays, and so to have the radio as a, as a venue for them to get out and to the public and for public consumption, it's really fantastic. Hey, Cliff, I'm going to try again. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, man. You just hit me with the shoe. There's a wealth of... Uh, funny, um, dramatic, and unique and quirky one-act plays that otherwise we wouldn't be able to access. I seem to be missing several major organs. Maybe I better have that looked at. You really are hyper aware of the words and how they're coming across and that you don't have um, all your other actor tricks to rely on. Plays are made of words, they're made of breath. On the radio, you come to realize that you are hearing souls speaking, which is all that drama ever actually has been. I think that it's the greatest education that anyone can ever have. I think that the theater is a place of acceptance, it's a place of possibility and imagination, and that any way that you can make theater available to more people, I think that it educates more people and it makes the world a better place. Honestly, theater needs all the help it can get. Arts funding is being cut left and right, and anything anyone can do to try and help arts in America should be done. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say.